Welcome to our first in a new PhD webinar series where we're going to be looking at differences and techniques for approaching article-based theses or monographs. This is going to be the first of a four-part series and today we're going to be mostly examining how your research design and your personal and professional goals can clarify which style of thesis may be best for the research you're trying to conduct. And before we begin, I think it's good to preface that this webinar series is going to be based on a recently published book by a colleague of mine at Oslo Met. The book, Strategies for Writing a Thesis by Publication in the Social Sciences and Humanities, is a really excellent read, and I highly recommend that you purchase a copy. Now, of course, if you're not in the social sciences or the humanities, Lynn Nigar and Kristin Zuli have also referenced this book by Dr. Jennifer Rowland. So if you are in the natural sciences, I would recommend that you get a copy of Delivering a Thesis by Public education. Undertaking a PhD comes with a lot of different challenges, and the final thesis is certainly going to be a big stress for everybody. So let's look at some of the challenges that you might expect to experience or have maybe already experienced when it comes to defining your final thesis. So if you're new to your PhD, there may be a lot of possibilities that you could take, and narrowing down your research design is important because it's going to help you to decide pretty early on what you can do, what is feasible as far as your research goes, but it's also useful to help you to decide which thesis format is most supportive of your research expectations. And of course, research changes, so where you started might not necessarily be where you end up as you get closer to writing your thesis. So it isn't uncommon for students or PhDs to shift between one approach to another as they realize they might have hit some potential challenges in their research that might make something like an article-based PhD an ineffective route compared to a monograph. So you can expect that things might change, so be prepared for that as well. Now, of course, the article-based PhD really seems like the next big thing for a lot of university departments, but some departments may have limited experience actually providing PhD programs in this way. So guidelines might not be available or they might not be necessarily very clear or very thorough. And of course... Your own supervisor or supervisory team might not have experience undertaking an article-based PhD if they themselves undertook a monograph-style final thesis. And this can end up being a little bit challenging as well if you might feel that there's some pressure from the PhD program to produce a certain type of PhD thesis, uh, especially if there are not very clear formalized guidelines or the experiences or opinions of the supervisors might not be as effective as you would hope. And because these article-based theses are relatively new, especially in the social sciences, trying to find clear and thorough guidelines as far as how you're expected to tie together your different research articles into the final cuppa is another challenge. So it's important that you know if guidelines for your department exist or not, and try to determine the quality of those guidelines at an early stage in your research. If no guidelines exist or the department guidelines are unclear or unhelpful, again, I recommend the two books that I presented at the start of this video. And choosing between an article-based thesis and a monograph might feel a little bit like choosing between needing to learn how to juggle and manage multiple different tasks at different times between research and publication, or dragging around a ball and chain like a monograph, a large piece of writing that is going to just follow you around through your whole research period. But it is important that you do decide which approach you're going to take. And realistically, the easiest way to determine that is to figure out which approach is right for you and your research, not which one seems to be the most exciting or the most new or necessarily the one that is really being pushed on you. As a PhD, you should have a choice. Of course, check with your department guidelines and see if there is an expectation for one format or the other. But 
what we're going to do is look at some of the different factors that can help you to decide if article-based publications or a monograph is actually more suited to you, your PhD goals, as well as the research that you're trying to conduct. There are important factors to consider, such as what is the common form of thesis in your field? The STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, have a much longer history and much better guidelines and experience with the article-based thesis than the social sciences and the humanities. Social science departments and humanities departments might not always have the clearest guidelines for how to move through the process of article-based publication or how to join everything together in a COPPA. You should also consider what opportunities you end up having to co-author. Co-authoring can help to reduce writing stress and help you learn how to move through the publication process more easily. Now, the social sciences tend to be more individual than the STEM fields are. So depending on the field that you are in, you may have fewer options for co-authoring or more options for co-authoring. So you need to determine what's available for you and what is your expected writing and publication workload going to look like. But it's also important that you consider for yourself personally and professionally, why are you taking a PhD? What's the justification behind trying to gain this title? And also, what do you intend to do with the PhD afterwards? Your preferred career path might end up influencing which thesis format is better for you. And probably most critically, is your research designed in such a way that you can break apart your research into publishable chunks? And is the research design conducive to having separate articles or not? Not all research can be designed to support an article-based thesis, depending on the research design and the methods and length of time it takes to collect and analyze data. And also, some research is just not easily broken apart because it can disconnect the main research ideas that you're trying to build. So really considering which type of research design you have is very helpful to determine whether you should do articles in a COPPA or a monograph. We're mostly going to focus on these last two. What are your personal and professional expectations and goals for a PhD and your research design? So which is best, articles or a monograph? Well, neither is better than the other. They're just different. But you do need to decide based upon your personal and professional PhD goals and your research design to figure out which one is most supportive for what you would like to do. So let's start with your personal and professional goals. What's the relevance of the research process to you? An article-based PhD in COPPA might be better if you are trying to develop research-oriented skills for yourself, whereas a monograph is maybe better if you're trying to develop applied skills relevant to a specific industry or a profession. If you're planning on contributing to ongoing research discussions through peer-reviewed journals, an article-based approach is better, whereas monographs are better to develop specialized knowledge that you plan on professionally applying afterwards. Article-based theses could be better if you're trying to establish yourself as a researcher in many fields, whereas monographs might be better if you're trying to establish yourself as a specialized professional, particularly outside of academic environments. We should also consider the impact that your research might have for others. If you have a wide impact that is relevant to many people within your discipline, articles are a much better approach because you can get quick information out and in shorter formats that's easier for people to read and access. Whereas if you have a very narrow impact uh, or you work within a highly specialized and small group that is likely to end up applying your research, a monograph could be better. And then, of course, we need to consider the employment prospects after researching. The article-based PhD is much better if you want to remain in academia or a research environment, mostly because it improves your research CV to have published articles. But a monograph is beneficial mostly if you want to work outside of academia as a specialist or if you want to work within certain academic fields, for example, pedagogy or nursing, which do a combination of applied skills, applied knowledge in a very specialized field, um, monographs can allow you more time to develop those necessary applied skills while conducting your research. And of course, we still also need to decide 
which thesis format best fits the research design, because not all research designs are created equal. Now, you might end up feeling pushed from your department or your supervisor to write an article-based thesis, and that's probably because article-based theses are the hot new thing, and the PhD program doesn't necessarily want to be left behind, or perhaps your department wants to increase their research output, or perhaps your supervisor or project team really want you to contribute to their research project. So there are many reasons for why you might feel pressured towards doing an article-based thesis, but it's important to consider if your research design is conducive to that approach or not. So yes, there is likely to be pressure, but you also need to consider, can you do quality research through an article-based approach, or is a monograph a better decision? So let's clarify what a research design is first. Research designs are a plan to that basically encompass your research questions, the type of research required to answer those questions, the methodologies that you expect to produce the types of research that you are intending to conduct, and what your expectations are for how your research will unfold and what your research objectives and goals end up being. Some research designs are highly conducive to article-based research because they require several smaller research questions that can be published as individual research articles that build towards a larger topic. Other research designs, however, are more conducive to monographs because it's difficult to break apart the research question or the data collection and analysis methods into separate works that can be independently published. So again, just because you might feel pressured to do one over the other, it's very important that you consider the research that you're planning on undertaking and whether or not you can break it apart into articles or if your research is better published as a whole unit as the monograph. And there are a few ways that we can assess this further. Now, please note, this is an incomplete list of factors that you should consider when designing your research to identify which thesis format may be best. This is not an NMBU guideline, but merely some questions that you can ask yourself to help determine which thesis format might be more supportive to your research design. There's room for flexibility in here, uh, and not all research will be as simply broken down as this framework I'm about to present describes it as. So it is important that you also speak with your supervisor and the head of your PhD program to further clarify your research design and thesis format as soon as possible so you can remove any ambiguity or confusion around what your final thesis is expected to look like. So we can start out by asking what is the research question or the research questions you have and how easily can you break those questions down into individual researchable chunks. If you can break your research down into researchable chunks because you have multiple research questions that are distinct enough to become separate publications but thematically similar enough to write as a unified kappa, the article-based thesis is a good idea. Whereas if you cannot break your research questions apart into individual chunks, you might be running the risk in doing so of diminishing your research design, the research quality, or even limiting how you can unify all of those ideas to make a research contribution at the end, a monograph might be better. So if you find it difficult to really break your ideas apart, look towards the monograph. Next, we can ask questions about the data. Are you able to generate or access enough data to sufficiently answer multiple research questions in the time that you have to undertake your PhD? If yes, uh, the article-based approach is suitable for you. You can use existing data sets um, that can be accessed and analyzed in different ways. And if your methods require short periods to collect and analyze data, even better. However, if you can't generate or access enough data, be it that there's in insufficient data or not enough data sets that exist or can be accessed, or if your methods require long time periods to initiate, such as an ethnography or a longitudinal study, a monograph might be a better approach for you. And of course, how much time do you have to conduct research on separate chunks? Well, if you have multiple methods that can be applied either simultaneously or in a stepwise design, the article approach might be better. Of course, you need to account for the amount of time that it will take to prepare, to write, to submit, and to revise multiple different articles and then still summarize all of that in a final written kappa. However, if time is of the essence and you're not able to conduct enough research on separate chunks during the PhD time that you have, 
potentially due to your methods requiring longer time periods of in-depth research on the topic, or possibly because multiple publications might detract from the time needed to fully develop the research you're trying to do, the theories you're working on, or the skills that you are trying to build, you might want to consider a monograph. Having a bird's eye view of your research design and your goals for the PhD I think are very important because they end up being determining factors that can help you to construct your research pathway and your writing approach. And as early as possible, you should try to decide which format is best for you, but understand you'll likely need to reevaluate at several stages along the way. Research changes, you may find what worked for an idea you had early on in your PhD might not necessarily work later on as the ideas and research start to unfold. I hope that you found this video to be useful for you, and I again recommend looking at those books presented at the start of the video. In our upcoming seminars on this series, we're going to be looking at aspects of writing an article-based thesis with a lot more focus on working towards developing a kappa.